Hello there, Internet! I am Mike and Bon of Lux and Hemlock, and today we're going to be playing a new game called Keeper RL. Um, and I've had my eye on this game for a little while. Uh, you, in this game, you're kind of playing as the villain. You are the, uh, you can be like a necromancer, the high wizard, the dark knight, uh, like, you're, you're an entity within the force of the world that is building up a dark army to conquer the lands of good... Um, and you will build bases and dungeons and uh, you can capture and torture and convert uh, the populaces of these of these places you can make allies with certain enemies or races and uh, you're kind of you're kind of playing as like the lich king like the aspiring lich king um, or you know the evil wizard like that, that's kind of what you're that's kind of what you're all about um, and this uh I played through the tutorial already, so I've got I've got a handle on the basics of the controls. Some of the fine tuning of it might be a little difficult for me. Uh, you know, it'd be something I'm going to be experiencing for the first time here. But we're going to give this game a shot. Now, this is a this is a roguelike game, and it's a hardcore roguelike, which means that uh, you there's no you can't save on your own, so you can't hit a button and save your game and come back to it. And if you perish then it's over you've lost um there's no uh there's no coming back from that um you're you you know you just have to start over start again that sort of thing and there's a little bit of randomization whenever you generate a world it's not like a you know the same map every single time um so yeah we'll, we'll see this might take us a little while to get through it but uh let's let's see how it goes let's give keeper rl a a shot here. All right, so uh, no, and don't ask me again. All right, so we're uh, choose we're, we're gonna choose the base type, which is a uh, we can be the classic wizard male, uh, wizard female. We can be the knight male. Um, so we could be this. We could be this knight. We could be uh, these wizards. Uh, we could be undead, we can be uh, automatons, which are like gnomes, um, we can be dwarves, and what I've heard is that the dwarves are actually special, in that like, normally the game is over if you, uh, if your keeper dies, but you you can recruit as many units after that as you want, but the dwarves are slightly different, where there's like, you start with like 12 dwarves, and that is all you ever have or will ever get, and once they're all dead, it's over. Um, which I thought was kind of interesting. We can be... Uh, it looks like there's some un... Maybe unlockables. There's... It looks like green skins, zombies, and hermits will be an option at some point. And then uh, there is just the adventurer, uh, which says to roam the land in search of adventures and loot. Um, so what we're going to do is probably just play classic. Uh, and I'm going to be the, the dark... The Dark Knight, maybe. Um, also, the the names are randomized. Uh, let's be the wizard. Let's just we're gonna be the evil wizard. Uh, let's find a good one. Nidhar, Arman, Vanet, Leandre, Gamal, uh, Joker, Malian, Boisemir, Cernard, Ansel. Uh, we'll go with. Uh, Christophet, Rukari, <laughs> Dragoslan, Talit. Uh, these are interesting names. Lothazars. <laughs> Let's go with Salian. Salian sounds like an evil wizard name. We are the Dark Lord Salian. Or Salian or something. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, uh, welcome to campaign mode. The world which you see below is made up of smaller maps. You will build your base on one of them. There are hostile and friendly tribes around you. You have to conquer all villains marked as main to win the game. And you can travel to other sites by creating a team and using the travel command. The highlighted tribes are in your influence zone, which means they can currently interact with them, trade, recruit, attack, or be attacked. As you conquer more enemies, your influence will increase. Okay, so it looks like there are uh, some unicorns that we are going to have to kill. There are some cyclopses. That we're gonna have to fight. There's a white dragon, which is a main villain. 
uh, <laughs> and a guard post. This is, uh, this is not good. Um, there's a shop, blacksmith. This is actually a really hard map. I don't know where we would even start here. I think, huh, yeah, this is interesting. Let's, uh, let's start over here. We'll put that as our home site. Try to get a f as far away from some of this stuff as we possibly can. Um, or actually, let's re-roll the map. That's, that seems really hard. All right. Elementist is the main villain. There are tree spirits that we'd have to defeat. Dryads and zombies. Uh, I'm kind of looking for a. Yeah, some mountains. This looks a little bit better. Okay, so we've got some warriors. There's more unicorns to kill. There's some ants. Uh, some gnomes who are, we're allied with. We're allied with these gnomes. And I like the idea that we're kind of in the center here. We're also allied with these dark elves. Um, so who are. Who's our main threat? The the warriors. Okay, I kind of like the idea that we're kind of the the dark the dark ones. Um, we will start. Oh, it looks like there's dwarves inside that cave. Interesting, interesting. So we probably don't want to start there. Um, yeah, let's. Let's start, let's just start here. I think that is going to be a little hard for us, but let's go. Alright, uh, Kepler Keeper version 1.0. This game just released, I think like maybe even yesterday. Um, more interesting locations to explore. This is your first time playing. Okay, we've done, we have done the tutorial, so we're going to pause the game. Uh, and what we want to do, okay, so first thing you want to do is start collecting resources. So we're going to, uh, just, you kind of just select an area and then send your guys out to go do it. We're going to increase the speed. So that they, uh, they could do this a little faster. We're just going to gather some wood here. There's a moose. Uh-oh. Those... We are very, very close to a village. Um, okay. It looks like we got a goblin warrior that wants to join us. So let's go ahead and build our... Uh, we're going to start our evil base here. Uh. Okay, so that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Do this, we want to... Um, A lot of warriors that want to join us. Okay. Okay. So then we're gonna set up some uh, 
resources. to do is very quickly get some beds. So, let's see. Some training room stuff. Crafting room, want a workshop. See, uh, yeah, we're gonna grab him. Get that one, get that one, and one more forge or workshop or jeweler. So, do a workshop. And I need to start building. all like going really quickly the um some of this is a little bit harder to do in the moment of things i'm trying to find uh yeah here we go so we want an armor rack and then want a weapon rack To library wooden bookcases. Alright, let's get him. We need. Yeah. And you can see our our dudes are kind of like training in the background. Um. So now I'm gonna start. Start uh, making some clubs. I'm gonna do five clubs. Then we're gonna get some uh, leather armor. Five. Uh, oh, and the game's saving for the first time. have any stone yet um, so we're just gonna get some wooden floors here that for some reason wooden floors make everyone really happy okay we also need to get a few more lights going here Starting to run out of wood though. So we want to we want to build a wooden door. Alright, we 
Got a goblin wizard that wants to join us. A goblin priest. Uh, yeah, there's some goblin priests. Okay, we might need more armor racks. Let me see here, storage. Uh, racks. All right, so we need to. Uh, we got a lot of goblin artificers. We need more goblin warriors. Uh, he needs a. He really needs a club. We need more weapons here. Another goblin warrior. We need one more basic bed, so we're gonna need to expand our structure. Let's do that. And our like priests and wizards are like looking up. <laughs> They're researching something. I'm a little. I'm a little worried because the that other human civilization is like right around the corner here. Um, ooh, interesting. There's some water. Okay, so we probably we really can't afford to do floors. We need to uh, get more beds so that we can get more. Uh, We've, we've run out of I need to go and start collecting some of this all right uh, let's get let's get another warrior hates all elves uh, seeds population limit. Game's really cute. Uh, okay, and now they got to now they've got to bring it all back. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. That might take them some time. Mm. Yeah, here they go. Here they go. You can see them speeding around the map. We need to get even more than that though. Let's see how much they bring back first. Uh, that's a pretty good amount. We're always going to need more, but... Uh, let's do that. Let's do some more torches. Okay. And I think we're going to need more... Uh, We're gonna need more clubs. Uh, let's get some more uh, armors. And make sure that we are. Uh, Stocked here, Goblin Artificer. Yeah, we're. I think we've we've reached kind of the population limit for our thing here. Um. What we kind of want to do now. <clears throat> is we could. I think. I think everybody should be. Equipped, I would hope by now. I want you to get armor on you. But uh, he's got. Looks like he's equipped. He's not. So grab that. Uh, and then this guy.
All right, so we are going to, once all of these guys get uh, equipped, what we're gonna do is create a squad. So we're gonna create a new team. We're gonna, okay. So it's gonna be our four goblin warriors and we're gonna get the goblin priests and the Goblin Wizard. Alright, and then. Drop and drag me on the team. Button to create a new team. You can drag them both from the map on the menu buttons. Okay. Teams. Yeah. Alright. So we're gonna control our warriors now. So I'm gonna have them. So this, once you like, kind of go into this control mode, then you then it does this, um, and you're in sort of a, uh, a like a turn-based mode. So we're gonna go try to destroy this village. find that it's a little bit hard to know how to just like make them just attack because you're in this turn-based mode so like looks like we killed her yeah we got her cool we're gonna chase these people down or try to they're like running right into our yeah, we got him. Okay, so we uh, we killed those villagers. Here's some more. Cut him off. The tribe of humans is destroyed. We've destroyed these humans. Now we're gonna uh, take their things. Hopefully, they've got anything. this door it's an iron door okay they've got some treasure so we're going to uh, take their treasure this probably this leads to another building now what that will do is it will make any of their allies in the region like uh, you know they'll they'll hear about this and then they might start coming to attack us so we have to kind of be prepared for the retaliation. So what we're gonna do is just kind of explore a little bit, check out what we're working with here. All right, so it looks like, uh-oh. Some meat. I think this is kind of the edge of the map here. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. So we can kind of... Yeah, we're, we're in kind of a good spot for where we're at. There is the option to like travel to other parts of the region, but I'd say for like right now, uh, it's cow corpse, peasant corpse, donkey corpse, yeah. Okay, so let's go, let's go up here. There's something here. We should definitely try to get whatever this is. Oh, found some enemies. Oh. Bandits. Uh, I don't know if we can beat. Yeah, okay. Choose new team leader. Uh-oh. Uh, those bandits might kill uh, Ugashke can be the new leader they might kill us hostile looks like he's got 13 defense we're yeah yeah this is we might win I don't know yeah we killed them 
Tribe of Bandits is destroyed. Nice. Alright, so we took them out. So I guess on the mini-map, that little question mark, that was, um... Oh, they've got some, they've got some stuff. Not much. Let's see here. And that looks like it's the, the barrier. So we have, uh... Success successfully explored the map. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so we're gonna exit control mode. We killed a lot of enemies. And they should just return back to base, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we still have the population limit. We need to... We need to kind of start digging for better resources at this point. Not, I'm hearing kind of a, a strange sound. Um, let's do the zones. Quarters, the rise of the core for chosen minions, leisure. Okay, so when the minions have nothing to do, we're gonna have them just hang out here in the bunks. Um, we will... We didn't get much treasure for all that, but we did get a little bit. Um, and we leveled up, which means that we can look at some new research. So I am going to be looking at uh, probably ironworking, honestly. I'm going to research that. Uh, it looks like we're already researching sorcery. Okay, um, let's dig out there. We really need to like, um, fill wooden wall, stone pillar. We need to, I need to figure out how to like actually collect stone. Um, I'm wondering if that's that's it. That says granite over there. Uh, yeah, so we need to just go find some granite so we can make some stone structures. Um, so let's, let's kind of build this way and we'll start maybe kind of like a mine. Wish we could, wish we could recruit these people, but um, we're not. Uh, See my goblins just kind of like run around like crazy. This would be going faster if more imps could work on it at the same time, but because they can't. Uh, that granite will actually unlock something. I don't see any other resource that was visible like that. So I'm hoping that, I'm assuming that goes towards this, towards granite. Okay, so that's the resource is granted there. Uh, 
gonna speed this up a little. something that we could be doing. Uh, let me go to my keeper. Uh, uh, I want you to be studying. Uh, I don't see. There's no rituals. Uh, he doesn't need to be whipping anyone. Um, he doesn't need to worry about crafting. He doesn't need to eat. Um, training. I don't think he... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, those are the things I want him to be doing. Okay, it looks like they are finally gathering some of that stone. It wasn't much. I was kind of hoping for more. Um, let's... What can we, ooh, a goblin shaman. Darn. Uh, all right. So I think we are... I'm hoping all of these guys are kind of like healed up. I'm going to start just collecting more of this wood here. We might as well just get all this resource. Let's see. Show tasks. I want. I really would want him to. Uh, he needs to be studying magic. I don't know why he's not. Um. Let's, why is he? Why is he? Uh, library. Does he need a bigger library? Maybe. I wouldn't think so. Um, let's do some torches that way. Okay, let's, uh, with all this wood that we've got, let's do some, let's build a forge. Where did we get some of that resource? Oh, actually, we can't build this because we don't don't have this resource for this iron. How do we get iron? Uh, let's see. Stable, basic coffins. Uh, well, nothing else. I'm going to build a separate sleeping quarters for my master wizard. Uh, we're going to put him... 
over here. We'll do more bookcases. And uh, build him a lair. bed because message boards do. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's just for flavor, probably. I was gonna make that like the specific quarters for my keeper, but I'm not sure how to do that. Alright. Oh, I see what my little keeper is doing. I've, I've been watching him kind of running around and hitting things. And I'm starting to realize that that's him like practicing kind of like <laughs> evil necromancer cruelty or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright. Uh, alright. So we can't make that. We can make a poetry table. Let's do. Might as well put that there. Um. And furnace. We can build a furnace. So maybe with a furnace we can start doing a forge. I actually put that up, which is kind of cool. Um, so. have a furnace now there's a magma jeweler enchanted laboratory I feel like there's some way that we're supposed to be researching something and we're just not doing that right now uh, it looks like my keeper is studying poetry he writes a sonnet about the slaying of a bandit yeah there is some um, there's some stuff going on over here like they've brought most of the wood down from there uh, okay I'm getting just ever so slightly confused build beast cages we can do let's see there's some farming we can create some animal fences I don't know why we would want to do that though um, let's fetch eyes persistently forbid zone uh, traps we could build we could build some gargoyles uh, some gargoyle traps that'd be kind of interesting um, I don't think we're quite there yet but <laughs> Let's see. Adamantine gate structures. Okay, I think what we're going to do, we don't even have uh, 
I wish we had more goblin warriors. Get rid of these. Strict gear, locate. Uh, we could banish some people. Um, goblin wizard. Do we need two goblin priests? Probably not. I think we've got a better shot with some warriors. No, I guess not. Uh, huh. Without more resources, I'm not sure how to continue. I feel like there is some kind of way that they need to be interacting with a tree. Um, that I'm not sure how to do. So, conquer some villains to advance. He's already researched ironworking and sorcery. So, maybe we just need to go try and kill some people. So, let's see what we can do here. Um, grab the team. Let's make sure everyone's equipped. Looks like they are. Uh, Alright. And we're going to travel, I guess, to the unicorn herd. Sounds like. Use the travel command while controlling a minion or team. Travel to the site. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take control of them. And we're going to go to the unicorn herd. Alright, so here we go. So now we've traveled to a different location. Uh-oh. That was arrows. Okay, we killed uh, an elven archer. I think that killed like two of our dudes though. Oh my god. Almost killed all of them, really. Okay. Picked up five gold pieces. Okay, okay. Kill some cows. Oh, yeah, we got somebody. There's only... Oh. Where'd she go? She's running off these elves. No, I think she like, escaped. No, we got her. We got her. Okay. I don't think, I mean, these goblins are not going to make it. Oh, someone, there's like a massacre here. Uh-oh. Juggernaut spirit, what the hell is that? We need to run, we need to run. They're, f they're with the unicorns. Okay, okay, exit control mode. Uh, minions captured. Okay, okay. So that was unfortunate. We need to recruit some new goblin warriors. The unicorns look mighty strong. Mighty strong indeed. Um, yeah, and I think uh, I think that's a good introduction to the game. Like you've kind of seen how it controls. I think I need to do a little bit of testing with it and figure out how to get past this section because I feel like there's... There's a way, like, I'm not, I'm just not sure exactly how to advance beyond just going out to the wilderness and looking for more enemies to fight and kill. So maybe there's something that I'm overlooking, but, uh, yeah, that was Keeper RL. Maybe we'll play some more of this in the future, uh, and I hope it was, uh, fun to watch. Have a good night.